Are you serious? Are you serious? We're back home in Indiana. Wow, we had a powerful trip in uh, Dallas, Texas, and we worked very hard, very hard, about 10 hours a day or more in the recording studio. We recorded 10 songs and uh, that new country gospel album. It's country gospel songs as well as a hymnal, as well as four or five praise and worship songs in which I recorded. I'm singing with Sean Fussell and his band backing up and his vocals be by him and his wife, which are, they are tremendous, talented people. But we worked very hard there, and, uh, and his band, of course, playing all the instruments, and all of that's coming together now as they be begin the mixing. I'm done recording. Now they'll do the mixing, and they'll get it ready, and it will be available. That CD, it's being produced out of Austin, Texas, I think is the studio that's actually going to package it all up and get it all ready to go in a nice uh, package and the jacket and the whole thing and that'll be ready in about two months and I think it's going to be a great blessing. I mean, it will be unbelievably a blessing for you. Pam McCracken sent me a beautiful, beautiful painting here. Of course, all the saints of God are going up. The, 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 the trumpets has sounded and it's time for the catching away of the body of Christ. And get a cup of coffee but I've got to share with you what's going on in North Korea. North Korea's prison camps are like a holocaust as a survivor has escaped. And in Geneva at the Human Rights uh, Convention, he shares his story. He says, you know, North Korea's prison camps are closed off to the world. It's a world of death as there's torture, there's forced labor. Uh, babies are born as slaves, according to two survivors who have likened the horrors of the camps to the holocaust in progress. People think the Holocaust is in the past, but it is still very much a reality. It is still going on in North Korea. Kim Jong-un! Shin Dong-kang told uh, the reporters through an interpreter uh, on the sidelines of the Human Rights Summit being held in Geneva. Mr. Shin spent his first 23 years of his life in the prison camp. He was born there. In, a, in this secretive country of North Korea, where he says he was tortured and subjected to forced labor before making a spectacular escape seven years ago, giving the outside world a rare first-hand account of the life inside these camps. He said his hands and feet were tied behind his back, and he was suspended from the ceiling for two and three days. They were beaten, they were tortured, they were brutalized, and then they were starved. And, and thousands of people are dying there with starvation. They, star they die there from disease. They die there from, from, they freeze to death. It's just absolutely insane what's happening there. Many of them are Christians. Yes, Christians. Your brothers, your sisters. The reason they're not sitting in the pew next to you tomorrow in church is they're rotting in a death camp in North Korea. Let me just say this. You know, there comes a time when nations should be, uh, there should be intervention done. And with the power we have, uh, I would just have to ask myself, so I think if I was in a position and could, and could do something about it, I'd have to ask myself every night I laid down my head on my pillow, if I was in the White House, is, is do, am I, can I really sleep knowing this type? I mean, it's one thing. Nations have a right to manage their own people and their, their judicial systems and what have you. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about, we're talking about people being thrown there for no reason at all. Zero. Just if it was rumored that they were against the communist regime of uh, Kim Jong-il or Kim Jong-un. And if they were Christians and at all, they get caught with a Bible. Just throw them in there. Throw the whole family in there. This is what's going on, people. This is why you know you're living in the last days. As the Bible said, that many of us would be persecuted, tried, even thrown into prison. Some will even be tortured even unto death. I'm telling you, we're living in that day now. This is how I know soon the Lord is coming back. Are you saved? 30, this man's 30 years old. He's the only person known to have been born in this camp to have escaped to tell it. Uh, he's, he was portrayed in a book by Blaine Harden. 
Uh, it's, it's, it's horrific. I watched his video. Of course, I, I can't understand him, so you have to listen to the interpreter and read the subtitles. But uh, it's, it's horrific what he's been through. Uh, whole families are thrown in there. They're starving to death. They're being tortured. He says that the methods of torture is inhumane. It's, uh, these, it's incredible. Fundamentally, it's the same as Hitler's uh, death camps. Mr. Kang said that through an interpreter in referring to one of the Nazi era's most notorious death camps, he said whole families are in North Korea are thrown into these camps together, starving to death. He said that the methods may be different, but the effect is the same. It's outrageous what they're doing. Um, uh, it's just it's just beyond anybody's ability to comprehend. And this is what's going on in North Korea. And then you got all these people who who have no idea what goes on in communist nations. You just don't understand. Between communism and radical Islam, the world is suffering. And in my book, Mark of the Beast, RFID, you know, I've got communists and I've got Ahmadinejad, but and you've got Putin and you've got, again, you've got Vladimir Putin of Russia and you've got Muhammad Mercy of Egypt. But yes, Kim Jong-un right there is his little face. Yeah, he's on the book because he plays a role. And there's no question that these um, these atrocities, I've been praying. I tell you what, I'm heartbroken uh, over the situation that's going on there. It's just insane. The, 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 it's just miser it's miserable. It's beyond miserable. And so we just pray for them. Dear God, have mercy on these people. God, have mercy. Dear God, have mercy on these people. I'm just going to tell you now that we don't have a lot of time left. There's no way. I mean, I read, I read what they're doing and... We just don't have a lot of time left. And if you want to go to heaven, you got to come through the joy and through the power and the blood of Christ. Because your brothers and sisters are being tortured. There's two million Christians in prison in China. There's one million Christians in prison in North Korea. That Christians are being slaughtered in places like Nigeria and Uganda and Rwanda and in the Middle East like Tanzania and Tunisia, and in Egypt, and in Yemen, and in places like Syria, in this war, in Damascus. And Damascus is just completely, it's no longer a city, forget it. It's, 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 it's a ruinous heap, and it's the final battlefield of what is known as the Arab Spring. As, as Assad will be the last one to fall, and then the Muslim Brotherhood will be completely surrounding Jerusalem. And Jerusalem will be encompassed about by many armies, which the Bible says is one of the major signs of the end times. These are the days of vengeance. And you're living in the time right now. We're in the beginning of sorrows. These are Jacob's troubles. Trust me. And you want to get right with God and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm back home in Indiana. I'm glad to be home. And it was a, uh, we're working hard every day. And we're going to continue to lead people to Christ. We had 36 people give their life to Jesus Christ on Sunday night live. Last Sunday night. I'll be back here on Sunday night this week. Don't miss Sunday night service. All the networks. I'll be on Paul Begley Prophecy, live stream, blog TV, blog talk radio, and uh, Ustream. A brand new one. Ustream. Tomorrow night, Sunday night live from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss it. Last Sunday night, as I said, 36 people were saved. During the week while I was gone, we had four more saved on YouTube. We had six people saved on the live shows. I even baptized a lady late Thursday night around midnight in, in, down in the heart of Texas. What? Yes. So God is adding to the church daily such as should be saved. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sean Fussell did a wonderful job in the recording studio. And uh, I've heard a couple of the songs. He just sent me one a little bit ago. It's not even got all the harmony yet. And it is, uh, it's, it's, um, here I am to worship. I mean, it, the music and everything, my vocal is way better than that. It is a powerful song. I want you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Please call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Pray for the people in North Korea. Oh, God. I'll be back this evening with another update on the Middle East in Jesus' name.